Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Today, I might get myself in trouble. <laughs> It might be a little long. Sit down, grab yourself a beverage, grab yourself a snack. Yes, I'm seeing an entire bag of salt and vinegar chips. Let me live my life. <sighs> and uh, we're gonna talk about some Disney tea today. So if y'all are watching this, I assume you're already very well aware of the Disney community and all that. So today I just wanted to like sit down and chat about some stuff that like really irks me, <laughs> you know? So all this is pretty much gonna be about Instagram, whatever you want to call it, Disney Instagram. I don't really have a problem on Twitter. Twitter's like, Diz Twitter's just real funny. And I don't really have a problem on YouTube either. YouTube's really unproblematic. But this is all pretty much Instagram related. So sorry Instagram that I'm coming for you, but it, it just has to happen. I've been thinking about this for a while and then eventually there was just a bunch of things that came up and then this past week has been wild on um, Instagram. So I thought I'd just stick it all together and throw it all at you and talk about why I hate the Disney community on Instagram. So if you don't follow me, you don't know, I'm on Instagram, hi, so is everyone else in the world, duh. I'm Lotus Disney, I have a regular Instagram that I never use anymore, I'm always on my Disney one, and I've had that account for going on, it's either two or three years, I truly don't know. I've been like saying that May is my two year anniversary of that account, but it might be three, I don't know, all the years blur together in Disney World. <laughs> I meant like in the Disney World, but also a Disney World, jokes. I started my account for fun. At that point, I had been an annual pass holder at Disneyland. I still was. I was like, I'm post cues pictures. I was mostly like, I'm clogging up people's feeds that know me in real life. They don't want to see Disney garbage. And I was following like thousands and thousands of accounts on my main account because I was essentially following like everyone I ever wanted to follow, which was way too many people and I wasn't seeing anything. So I was like, I'll make a separate account and it'll be good. These are just a few things that I've noticed even more recently. Some of them I've noticed for a while, but even more recently that are kind of like the negative side of the Disney community that I wanted to bring up. Obviously, every single community has good people and bad people. It's just the way that it is. Like the beauty community on YouTube gets a lot of flack for it because there's always like drama and tea and like tea channels and then me 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 all that stuff. I know like the gaming <laughs> community on YouTube has the same kind of thing. Every community has this. Every community has tea and problems, things like that. It's not just Disney that I'm calling out. I just think it's really ironic because the Disney community is pretty much based around like supporting each other and like being excited and like magic and everything being perfect like that's the whole basis of the disney community so i think it's funny when people like aren't magical said that weird so the first thing i wanted to bring up that is just like annoying and again i know this happens in every community but i see it so much in disney is the whole like follow unfollow trend like i said i had my old account for a really long time i did like beauty things and blogging type things that's what my old account was used for and i would see my numbers like fluctuate a little bit they were pretty much steady sometimes i'd log on my disney instagram and i would literally like see that i gained four followers and then i'd look at my page and i'd have like 20 followers less and I was like literally what's happening so out of pure curiosity I downloaded an unfollow wrap just to see what was happening and I'm not surprised at all actually this made me so mad because I follow people because I like their content um I feel like I follow people because either they're in the same like sort of situation as me so I thought follow a lot of DCP accounts um they're like brand type things so obviously I follow like Disney style, the parks, things like that. Or I follow people because I like their content. If they follow me back, that's chill, that's cool, that's grand. I have a lot of people that like are mutuals, that we support each other. It's bomb, it's great, love it. I don't follow people because I don't like their content generally. But I found a lot of accounts would follow me and if I didn't follow them back in like, honestly, sometimes within the hour, they would unfollow me, which like, <laughs> And some of them were even accounts that I could tell were Disney accounts because they had Disney names, but then they didn't have any content up. And I was like, I don't understand why you're following than unfollowing like large groups of people when you aren't putting anything forward yourself. And then it's even more disheartening when it's huge accounts. So I had accounts that had like, you know, 10, 25K follow me. And then I'd go and I'd see their page. And I guess I had just never seen them before. And I'd follow them back. And I was like, you seem cool. You got a lot of Disney style posts. You do some cool brand collabs. And then two weeks later, they would unfollow me. And I was like, which then just makes you wonder like how many of these huge accounts have just followed thousands of people, stuck around for a couple weeks and then unfollowed them. And at that point, those accounts forgot that they followed them and never went and looked again. Like how many of your followers are genuine followers and how many of them are people who just followed you back to mutually support each other as creators and then you just pieced, you know? This came up again the other week because there's a 
creator. I'm not going to call them out like by name, but they did a Disney college program. They were in entertainment, so they had a lot of followers. whoop de doo I used to follow them and then I unfollowed them actually because they didn't follow me at this point. And I noticed that they were commenting on multiple of my pictures. The exact same comment. Not even like a like a oh this is so cute like have a magical day like it wasn't like multiple things like that it was literally like the same copy and pasted like oh my gosh I love this photo this is so cute like glitter emoji mouse emoji heart emoji on every single thing so they literally had copy and pasted this phrase this generic phrase that could apply to anything and they were just going through I don't know if it was their explore page people that followed them like I don't know what and just spam posting this on everyone's photos. I feel so bad for kicking her off now that someone commented saying that when I talk to my camera she probably thinks I'm talking to her. Hello. So I unfollowed them when they were doing that because that... Buddy, stop! So I unfollowed them when they were doing that because that made me mad because I was like you're just spamming comments that's frustrating and then a couple weeks back they followed me. And I was like, okay, maybe they're following me now because I'm a character attendant, they're a performer, I'll probably run into them, they weren't that big of an account. I was like, maybe they just like my stuff, you know? I followed them back and I didn't even think about it. And then I was like, thinking about it, it was kind of bugging me because I knew they were the kind of person that did this. And then I checked the app and they hadn't unfollowed me and I was like, okay. And then I went to their page and <laughs> they weren't following me at all, meaning that this person spam liked my stuff and then followed and unfollowed me so quickly that Instagram like didn't even really register like in this third party app it didn't register they had followed me because they followed and followed within a couple seconds which is like the shadiest thing ever <laughs> and like there's a chance that they just did this to me they don't do this to everyone it just happened they accidentally followed me and then followed right away but like I don't believe that if that's like in your history you know so that's my first kind of complaint um this especially makes me mad because like you can blow up in the beauty community in the beauty community you can get pr packages you can get sent on trips you can have all this stuff happen that stuff doesn't happen in disney if you look at the disney community i'd say probably the most like famous people i can think of is tim tracker and he still has under 600,000 subscribers which don't get me wrong is a lot of people but in the realm of like youtube where people like Shane dawson have 22 million subscribers like that's not very famous um i was listening to a podcast by two content creators and they said the point where people kind of quit their like real job or quit school and do youtube full-time is 300,000 subscribers and there's not a lot of disney people over that mark so if you're going into the disney community to try and gain fame and try and gain like clout and like be famous and like get free stuff it's not gonna happen you might get a few things from stores if you hit that like 5k 10k 20k mark but there's very 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 few creators over like a 20 25k it's just you're not gonna get famous from it stop being fake about it but the second thing and my third thing which is the only thing i'm gonna talk about because i've already been talking for like 11 minutes these are kind of interconnected and this makes me so mad i've talked about it before i made a video when i did vlogtober talking about the freaking idiot who hung a trump banner in magic kingdom and then he got kicked out there and then went to Disneyland did the same thing. I get so frustrated that again the whole basis of the Disney community is like positivity and acceptance and Disney as a company is like so known to be like accepting and inclusive and things like that and it frustrates me when people who are big players in the Disney game are openly supporting political figures that don't align with the Disney values. I always knew there was like people in Florida, Florida's Florida, it's gonna happen, everyone loves Trump, we get it, you're conservative, whatever, you're all white, I understand. So the first thing that came up is I was following this shop and I saw them post a photo and there was someone in the photo and I went and clicked on the person in the photo, like their tag, it went to their page, and I found out one, they were the shop owner, two, they were based in Southern California, so they were a Disneyland merch account, not a Disney World one, which makes a big difference because, like I said, I expect it from Florida. If you're living in Southern California, honestly, I'm glad you live there if you're voting for Trump because there's no freaking way a conservative party is going to win the California vote. I'm sorry. <laughs> but also, like, what? <laughs> but I clicked on his page and he had a photo of him in, like, a Trump 2016? Is that what it was? Yeah, 2016. He's wearing this tank top. It was, like, a dumb freaking selfie and it was him being, like, just because I support this man, like, I'm not racist. I'm not bigoted. I'm not homophobic. But, like, you are. <laughs> I get that you can not be racist and not be homophobic personally and want to support the Republican Party, but at the same time, if you're voting for someone who outwardly is racist and homophobic, like, maybe not the best idea? 
So that was number one. I unfollowed the shop. I called it out. I had so many people bless the people that follow me on Instagram. Y'all are angels who message me being like, I want to know what the shop is so I can not support them as well. Because that's the kind of community I want to be in. <laughs> that was the first thing. The second one is there has been multiple DCP vloggers that have been avid Trump supporters. Again, I don't want to say any names, um, but again, one girl went to her Instagram, went back during the election. She has photos of her and her friend like making jokes in Trump merch. I think it's disgusting. Someone pointed out there was another one who posted of her in Disney on 4th of July saying like, make America great again. That's freaking gross. You... I just, I just can't fathom working for a company that has the values it is and being that person. Um, another one, which I might make a whole video about, this was the original thing I saw, is I saw someone who is like more popular than me, still is, who is a DCP vlogger who interrupted a peaceful protest for police brutality against trans people and women of color. He was screaming at them and saying that he had the right to film them, that they were being disrespectful. It was, ugh, ugh it was just so gross, ugh. And then more recently, this is not a Trump thing, this is a religion thing, which again, I understand a lot of people are real religious in the South, that's how the South works. This girl, again, is California based, and you probably, I'm not, again, I'm not gonna say her name, but you probably know who she is. She came on a post on her Instagram that she is pro-life and that anyone gets an abortion, regardless of the reason, is selfish. She said things like financial instability are not a reason to get an abortion, that you should carry that child to term no matter what and give it up for adoption. And then the next day when people were like, actually, it's not selfish because, oh, oh my gosh, ow. Oh, you just ripped my pants. These are new pants. Oh, that hurt. People were calling her out saying that being financially unstable is a justifiable reason. It's actually unselfish. I was one of the people that said this because you're making a good decision not bringing a child into a world where you can't financially support them. Her privilege, but <laughs> that has no idea how the world works, said that you should just carry that child to term and it has no financial burden on you and then give it up for adoption. And I'm just like, has this girl never gone to a doctor? Like obviously she lives in like a mansion, she has rich parents, she obviously has insurance, she's never had to worry about this. Like. Even going to a doctor in Canada where like we have universal health care, like that's a thing that everyone talks about in Canada, like I still end up with medical bills. And being pregnant, like I have a really good friend who's pregnant right now, and like I see her where she's like, has to go to the doctor all the time, she has to get blood tests, she had to go for another optional test, she had to go get a sonogram here, like there's so many things that you need to do, and a lot of them aren't covered. Like a lot of them are optional tests that you can do to ensure that your baby's healthy, but if you have no money, those aren't a thing. It's the same if you're someone who has an addiction, is homeless, can't afford food, things like that. While there's no financial stability of physically carrying a baby around, if you're not getting adequate nutrition or if you're putting substances into your body that'll harm that baby, it's better off for that kid and for yourself and for whoever would possibly end up with that child that you not have it. Like, <sighs> I have so many feelings about this. It frustrates me so much. It just, it makes me so frustrated. So that was all wrapped in, I cannot stand the like preachy, conservative, Trump-loving, Bible-obsessed little portion of the community of Disney. <sighs> Related to that, this is like, this one's hard because I saw an influencer tweet and they tweeted something along the lines of like, isn't it funny how like so many people in the Disney community are homophobic and racist and all that stuff, which is true. That's literally what I'm talking about right now. And I obviously don't support that. Yeah, I'm talking about it right now. But people say things like this without actually knowing what's behind it, and that's what makes me mad. This particular person posted this, and I know there was a huge thing a couple years ago where the CEO of Coachella was outed as being someone who was anti-LGBTQ supportive. Anti-supportive? You know what I mean. They were against the community, and they were donating money to organizations that worked against the LGBTQ community. This person said that this was gross and then still went to Coachella. It's one of those things that makes me mad because people are saying things that they think sound good and then not acting on them when it's inconvenient for them. Everyone wants to get sent to Coachella for free. I get that, I understand. It's a cool experience, especially as an influencer, getting that kind of opportunity. But you can't say that you're supportive of the community and you would never do harm to them and then go and promote someone that actively is against it. 
It's the same way that I feel about people who post about Chick-fil-A. Like, I'm not gonna lie, I'll probably go at some point just because everyone talks about it. But people who talk about how they're so supportive and they're advocates and they're allies to the LGBTQ community and then go to companies like Chick-fil-A or Hobby Lobby every day, once a week, they support their business regularly. Mm, don't do it. Ugh. I'm gonna stop myself now because this is already 20 minutes long and I've been ranting, but thank you for watching. I hope I'm not the only person who's seen this and I know several people have told me to film this because they're just waiting to see me get mad. As always, all my links to everything are down below. I am most commonly on Instagram. I'm also on Twitter a lot, so you can hit me up there too. Um, feel free to subscribe. I'm here at least every Tuesday, usually every Thursday, sometimes on Sunday too, depending how my week goes. That is it for me today and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Bye.